Well, I don't think this thing took the winter too well, my step. I went to climb up there this morning to go into the shop and this thing let go. It slid down in here away, so I have to somehow attach that back on the wall. <laughs> that gave me quite a feeling when that happened. Now, I don't care if it's perfectly level when it gets attached there. But that is a bit of a step now. Kind of took me by surprise when I step in. I lifted my foot up and it dropped down a good four inches. Not the feeling I was looking for. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can do here. Not sure yet. It's just such a beautiful day. I don't feel like doing anything out here. I just feel like walking around and enjoying the day and looking around and watching things melt. I'm sure some of you folks have had those days, especially if you live where you get, it feels like nine months of snow. And I know I should be in here cleaning this up too. Watch this here. Gotta step really lightly here, I tell you. Well, I don't think it's gonna drop any further than that, maybe. See, it's not attached by much anymore. There's a few nails holding it. I have some long wood screws maybe I'll use them and suck it back into place the best I can where it is I would like to tear this whole place down at some point in time I don't think it's worth moving I don't know or just lift it up remove everything out from underneath it and set it right on the ground that would probably be the better option is just set it right down on the ground so there's no big step up here because I'm stepping up a boat about six feet up into here. It's a little high. Oh well. Anyways, beautiful day out. I'm just gonna put it around up here, I think, for a bit. A little bit of back and forth stuff, that's about it. All right, clean this up. It's a disaster area in here again. It always seems to get that way. I think I could have a shop that's 200 feet by 200 feet and I would still fill it up with junk I mean but but I like that junk you know it's always something I can I can use I need more shelving I need to sheet in this wall but before I sheet in the wall I want to put a window in there and before I can put in a window in there I have to level this place up or the window will be really crooked so uh someday not sure but for today I think I'm going to do a little bit of organizing in here I think I may Turn on the radio. I'm going to fix this step first. Turn on the radio and just do some organizing in this place for today. After about an hour and a half, I have not even made a dent yet. <laughs> I hung some of my sockets up here. Some of them are not in the greatest of conditions, but I have two of these, I think, in the car. But uh, these are some... I think they are five point. They're the torques, anyways, whatever they are. And then have a set of uh, standard metric twelve points. These are uh, half inch drive standard and metric. This is a, this is something here I got a long time ago. Um, it uh, seems to work pretty good for certain things. I have to build another rack like that for my metric wrenches. And these are just some stubby standards and stubby metrics. See, there's a couple missing there, but I know where they are. They're in the toolbox. I know where those are. I don't. Uh, they don't go missing. I have to say thank you to Jerry Cato again. He sent me some more of these guys. These are some of the last ones he sent me, and he mailed me some more. So thank you very much, Jerry. Now I went hung a couple. Um, some people call them clevis. There's another a shackle. Uh, that's the other name I think for them, and then just some cable clamps I hung up there, and my. Uh, my steering wheel puller, I use that for flywheels and stuff as well. I hung that there. And this I am going to put in use as well. Big Daddy 1992 sent me that. I won the contest. It's still sitting here nicely and I am going to put that to use very shortly. I want to also go at it and separate and sort out my drill bits. But uh, I use those drills quite often as well here. They are my main use as far as... Uh, Hand tools go for drilling stuff. 
I want to build a shelf or something too to put all my my uh, liquid uh, consumables. I don't have a lot yet, but I do have a few. That's pretty much uh, my my. I don't have a whole lot of more sockets other than these here. I think that's about it. And <clears throat> some odds and ends I get at yard sales in here. Sockets and wrenches is something I think I'm going to have to start investing in soon. But uh, well, maybe once I get some money ahead, once things are done, I want to move this out into the to the garage out back when I build it. But uh, that's about what I usually have to work with, and, and I usually get a fair bit done. I have some good old vice grips here. These are my. I found the other pair of good vice grips I had. They were in the bench or in the shelf. That's my good ones. And that's the ones I picked. And they seem to work good. I have a little pair right here as well, and they work quite well. They're a bit, you know, I mean, springs gone on them, but that's that's fine. They still work. So, yeah. Some good vice grips. Well, I'm going to stop and go get something to eat, and I will come back at this later, maybe, unless I do something else. I figured since it was such a nice day today, we would let the chickens out, and that's about as far as they as far as they've went all day. We've had a couple hang out underneath the trailer. They're going under there, wandering in and out. But for the most part, they just seem to hang around the door. Heather tossed them some bread. Dog's trying to sneak over there to get a slice of bread too, of course. <laughs> but he doesn't He doesn't bother the chickens. He was raised with them. <laughs> okay. It's okay, Wojo. Get your slice of bread. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead. It's okay. Grab yourself a slice of bread. He's very careful. He's not mean with them at all. <laughs> they seem to be quite happy. They've been out now probably for about four hours, right, Heather? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Maybe been four hours or more, yeah. They seem to be, seem to be enjoying it. Okay, with all the snow we've had melting here yesterday and today, you can actually see a lot of the sawmill starting to show up. If you look, you can actually see under the sawmill over there where the snow is melting. I think that is uh, a good sign of spring for sure. So the one thing I really, really want to do is get these boards edged and get them off the mill. Hopefully the sun can get in there and shine a little bit. Now that sawdust does restrict the melting a little bit. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe the frost hasn't went down with the sawdust on there, but... I think I think it did. One thing I want to do too is start cutting timbers to finish this pole building. But that I'm going to use the tractor, the big tractor with the loader and the trailer to bring the logs out because they're going to be fairly long logs. They're going to be 16 foot logs. And Heather and I were bringing some long ones out with their snowmobile and we found they were just too severe to lift. So the tractor will be the way to go there. Uh, we are going to get at it soon and we're going to clean up all that slob pile over there Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure and we can get that stuff piled in the woodshed as well But for today though, like I say, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mill these up now I think we do want a few live edge ones. I want to see how thick they are first Some of them might be just scrap. I'm not sure yet See, that one's absolutely no good. I'm not even going to save it. It's only... What was that again? <laughs> good grief. My memory's not too good. Just under half an inch. It's not even worth keeping. Not for me. That's where that one goes. down here. See how thick this is. We're three quarter inches thick. I can use that for something. Not sure yet what, but
up boards just a little over eight, over eight inches wide wide so I'm gonna run it right down about four inches and we're gonna see what we end up with here As soon as that bark dries up enough, it'll fall right off. I'll give it a quick sand and we have some more trim for around the windows in the house. And around the doors in the house. There's another one. So that's another nice piece of trim. Another piece of live edge that we'll trim up on the table saw later on when we go to use that. We are storing some in the pantry. We don't want to put too much on the house yet. We don't want that house too much heavier when we go to move it. Sorry folks, I'm tired. Anyways, yeah. We have a lot of our lumber too. There's some showing up in there as well that we have already milled. This year, there's a little pile in there. And then if you look over here, behind Heather, hope that sun's not too strong. There's some over there as well, showing up just at the on the right side of that uh, last pole on the left of the building. So they are starting to show up. Anyways, that's about it for today, folks. Um, I worked a little bit in the, in the, in the, the, the old house, as you could see. Uh, checked out the chickens, made sure they were okay. They enjoyed their day. We enjoyed our day. I hope you folks enjoyed yours. And now we are going to go in. Don't miss the live show tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern. Hope to see you there. This is just some of the live edge we have stored in here. This is the last two pieces. Hopefully I don't scratch that wall that we cleaned up really nice. Um, yeah, that's what we have in here so far. These uh, pieces here, that's the live edge trim we have drying right now in here. And I'll show you where they're going to go. They're going to go all up around these door openings that we made. That's where they will go in here. That's how they will look there. Not sure how well that is showing up. I will open up a curtain. We have a closed because it's just too darn bright in here. That's how that will look. Once everything is all said and done, that's how the trim will look around the uh, door openings going into the pantry and whatnot. So hopefully it'll look okay. I have to get at it and do this front window as well. I haven't got back to this yet for a while, but I will eventually soon. Anyways, that's for this evening, folks. You take care and we'll talk to you tonight, hopefully. Bye-bye.